Let's talk about uh, the, this idea of wellness and expressing health at our full potential. Um, I think we're familiar with it, we almost take it for granted, mm -hmm. but it's really a foreign concept to a lot of people. So let's spend a few minutes on, on what it is that a fully functional body should be like. Uh, also, you know, while we're there, I know you take care of professional athletes, and I imagine that they're not there to get their shoulder or back fixed, but they're seeking something else from you. So let's talk about let, let, because that's exactly the same thing. Okay. Um, well, in terms of professional athletes, we had a very interesting experience. Hmm. Uh, we were contacted because uh, several players for the Denver Broncos, um, they had a team chiropractor who was wonderful. But like you said, they were doing a lot of the typical helping them with injuries because that's the role as a team uh, practitioner that they are, are doing, which is a great gift. Um, however, the particular players who we were seeing wanted something more. They wanted, they knew their spine and their health uh, had to reach a better level if they were going to perform at their best. And actually, uh, we were going to their houses. We'd go to one house, then another, with our tables, <laughs> <laughs> going to uh, uh, several different um, linebackers for the Denver Broncos. And uh, the interesting thing was they said, you know, we get out, we get off the field, and it's like our body's still in a war zone. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I communicated was your nerve system is what helps you respond to stress and whether you're, and re help you reset and help you adapt to stress. If after being in a professional game, you go home to your living room and your physiology is still in the state that you were on the football field, which is a battlefield, <laughs> <laughs> then um, you can't serve your family the way you need to. So we were checking them after every game to help them keep that adaptability because performance for them and for all of us is not just their sports activity, how we do at work, your wellness, your quality of life is every quadrant of your health. Your physical health, your spiritual health, your family, um, your financial health, all those areas embody your wellness. But so much we've been taught uh, you're healthy if you're just not sick. Mm -hmm. But the reality that is, is... That is so wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it is. And the reality is just because you're not sick doesn't mean you're healthy and well. There's a continuum of, of exceptional quality of life, exceptional levels of well-being, or moving towards death and disease. And no matter how old you are, you want to help your body move towards greater levels of health and well-being. Mm -hmm. uh, I am curious to have a, a, a about what you're, you're talking about, these um, events these processes that alter nervous system function that diminish your expression of life and health and well-being. And we heard uh, a little, little while ago that, hey, you know what, you want to get checked right after you're born because the birth process itself, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. can be traumatic. In your experience, what are causes of those distortions in the spine that are called subluxation? What are the causes that would, uh, you know, that, that, that makes it that's a really good idea that people mm -hmm. get their spine checks, so that their nervous system is free of interference, is, is unstained, it's uh, clean communications between their brain and body. What, what makes it happen? Well, a lot of people, it's physical, chemical, and mental emotional stresses. And a lot of people know the physical stress. That's why they think they go to the chiropractor. That's right. It's very concrete. It is. You are broken, you get fixed. Exactly. And they, so they know... And if, we do that well, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you fall, if you're in a car accident, those things, they say, oh, well, that's when you go to the chiropractor. But there are so many other environmental stresses that we all see that create even more of an impact on the nervous system than just a physical stress. Mental emotional stress, stress at work, 
um, chemical stress, chemicals in the air that we breathe and the food that we eat and the products that we clean our house with. Um, and just any type of environmental stress can create stress in our nervous system and that just impacts how our whole body functions. So how do we deal with that? What do we do about it? Do we not clean our house? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, we live in this world. I always say to people, we live in Colorado near the Rocky Mountains. I say, well, wouldn't it be ideal if we all lived up somewhere in the mountains in a bubble and there was no stress whatsoever and we didn't have to pay bills and you know, <laughs> take care of kids and go to work? And, but that's Th not that reality. That might not be practical <laughs> for most people. It's not people. practical. It's not <laughs> practical. So we do. We live in a world that's filled with stress. But the best thing we can do is help keep our body healthy and well so that we can better adapt to those stresses so that um, that your body can function better but that your whole life can work better. And that's our message that we tell the people that come and see us is that this isn't about fixing something but it's about helping you to be more of who you were meant to be and help you to not just get optimal health but to get a better life. And you know in terms of children the birth process can be a very significant change to a child's nerve system. I remember in chiropractic school um, when we studied some basics uh, about obstetrics we were told that 80, 80 to 90 foot pounds is the typical amount of pressure that a medical practitioner is told to use when pulling on a child's head uh, to help them out of the birth canal. Now, I personally don't know what a foot pound is. I don't know if that's how much pressure you use with your leg pulling. <laughs> um, however, also at the same time, we were told they had to be very careful because 110 foot pounds of pressure was enough to sever the spinal cord. That's a very small margin for someone to use with their hands, let alone if they use forceps or vacuum extraction or other areas. And very commonly, Or do a C-section now. Mm -hmm. Or C-section. You know, almost half of birth and C-section. And right. let alone if there's a C-section or other procedures, there's medications that the mother is given that transfers to the child that might be the appropriate for the body weight of the mother, but not the body weight of the child. So you, you now have a combination system. of uh, uh, mechanical stresses mm -hmm. and chemical stresses and then there's all the emotional out overlay mm -hmm. of, of, of giving birth I mean it's not, you know it does anxiety with that no matter which way how, how, how perfect it is or not mm -hmm. and very commonly unfortunately the baby is taken away from the mother very soon after that it may not have the initial emotional bonding they need to have there's so many scenarios there's every part of our life affects our nerve system right. and our nerve system has to adapt to every part of our life. There's simple things that we do that we don't even realize, like all of us are sitting here. We take sitting for granted. A hundred years ago, no one sat. Mm -hmm. We right. were working in fields and moving and using our right. bodies. Now people sit eight, ten hours at work. They'll sit four Transform. hours on a couch. Mm -hmm. They sit in a car. Their whole day is sitting. Your spine wasn't designed for sitting. It was right. designed for standing and lying, and your body hasn't had the time to evolve and adapt to the things you like know, that. You know, one of the things that I want to point out is that we're obviously living in this world where we have our bodies, our health, really at a very vibrant level, and I think it is so apparent just watching the two of you interacting and playing off each other, <laughs> I think that is in itself an illustration of living at our full potentials and I just wanted to point that out because that was just so such a pleasure to see and, and to have uh, the experience of participating in that in that in that conversation now if people want to contact you how do they reach you well our our office phone number is three zero three nine nine eight one thousand and our website for office is www.networkwellnesscenters.com. Very good. Mm -hmm. Dr. Danny, Dr. Rochelle, I want to thank you for coming on The Power of Life. Uh, for The Power of Life, I am Dr. Jean-Marc Slack, and until next time, have a near-perfect day. <laughs>